What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Tuya Knives Voodoo. Now this was part of a Lefty EDC pass around package. Um, so you had the Voodoo and then I also have in the Kaiser Sub 3 OBK, um, which I'll be doing a full review of probably um, the next video after the Tuya. Um, and honestly, I think this is too was one of their newest models. Um, and if I'm being frank, it was probably my least favorite Tuya I've handled so far. Um, still a good knife, just not for me personally. Um, I liked the Kaladin that I reviewed better than this one. I liked the um, NVV4 much better than this one. I liked my Mutt much better than this one. Um, the Wrath, the Wraith, I liked a lot better. Um, so it's it's still a good knife, like I said, just not for me personally. Um, but yeah, so as always, it'll be linked in the channel description down below if you guys are interested uh, directly to Tuya's website. They are currently in stock, um, which is nice if you guys are, you know, if you like the knife, if you guys are interested with it, um, definitely go check them out down below. But starting off the review with the materials portion of the review. Um, I don't know why I lost my train of thought there. Uh, but the Voodoo is designed by David Freeman of Freeman Knives. I believe he makes custom knives. I'm not super familiar with his work, but there is his maker's mark right there. There is the Tuya logo. Um, this is a very, very wicked looking Warncliffe. Um, you have a straight edge down here, hollow grind, which is very nice. Nice. Um, it's an S90V. Just a beautiful grind. Um, huge choil down here. You have a sort of a bronzed titanium. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, bronze anode titanium in this orange peel finish, which I think I said in my unboxing this knife was the first rendition of orange peel I've handled. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I don't say I love it, um, but it definitely is nice. You have a metal titanium clip that matches the bronze and orange peel finish um, on the rest of the uh, body scales. You have a frame lock over here. Um, as for internal milling, there are, looks like there's three pockets on the show scale side and two pockets on the frame lock side. Um, yeah, so some specs on the knife. Overall length is eight inches. Blade length is 3.125. Um, the cutting edge is 2.750. Um, so you, of course you have a choil. It takes out a ton of, um, cutting edge on this, but you do have a beautiful, just straight line right there. Um, blade material is S90B, like I said, with a hollow grind. Um, handle length is 4.75 inches. Handle thickness is 0.5. Four, three, five inches. Um, it's on cage ceramic ball bearings. Um, of course, there's no pockets on the inside, like I said. Uh, ceramic detent ball, hardened steel lock bar inserts, hardened steel washers. Um, and the weight is 5.02 ounces. So about five ounces, which is definitely adequate. Um, which I feel like this is definitely a bigger knife for me. It comes in at eight inches overall. But when you look and you see that you have a 3.125 inch blade with a um, 2.75 inch cutting edge. It makes it feel not as big, but the handle is just definitely, you have a lot of handle going on and that's where a lot of the weight comes from. Uh, and honestly, that's one of the reasons why I wasn't a huge fan of this knife is just due to sort of the largest largeness of it, um, especially with this hole right here, um, which I'll touch on later with the action department. But for everything, you know, for S90V, um, orange peel titanium, uh, you know, ceramic bearings, just a wicked looking Warncliffe for, you know, I have to give it a five. Um, really no complaints at all with, you know, the materials given here with the Voodoo. Uh, this is the, the only rendition of the Voodoo right now, um, but it wouldn't surprise me if in the future they come out with a different variations of it if it sells well. Um, now for aesthetic, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of how the knife looks overall. I think the blade looks nice, but I'm not a huge fan of like, I love choils, don't get me wrong, but I don't love when the choils are fully taken out of the blade itself. I like when they're 50-50 choils, you know, they're a little bit of the scale, a little bit of the blade. Uh, but this is just definitely, you know, large. Uh, it's definitely all part of the blade. And to me, that just takes away from the ergo experience, not the ergo experience, the aesthetic experience from me. Um, the orange peel titanium, you know, is it looks, looks and feels cool. Again, not my favorite. Uh, the handle scales is okay. Like, it's definitely not a bad looking knife, but for me personally, I I'm not a huge fan of how it looks. Um, so honestly, I'm going to give it a 3.5. There are worse looking knives out there for sure. But for me, again, personally, uh, it just doesn't, you know, do it for me. Um, 
you know, I'm more of a simplistic type of guy when it comes to designs and I'm, you know, a lot of people don't like that, but I do. Uh, and this is just a little bit, a little bit out there for me. Um, you know, it's not like super aggressive. I mean, the blade is, but it's not, I don't know, just not doing it for me. So that's why I'm going to land on a 3.5. Um, and some of you guys might think it's a five out of five for yourself, which is perfectly adequate. I mean, it's, it's your guys' opinions. This is mine. Um, so, but next up is action and the blade is centered. There is no blade play, so it's locked up nice and tight. Um, but you have this large opening hole. Now, I don't love when the holes are large enough for my finger to like basically go into, um, cause that just, it doesn't feel the best when, you know, actuating it, um, flicking it, whatever it may be. I like to just push the, you know, pad of the top of my finger in um, and flick it out that way. But sometimes when your your whole nail, your whole if your fingertip can go in through there, um, it, it hurts a little bit. And I just, I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't love when, you know, I've always thought that way, but I don't love when holes are big enough for my whole finger to go through. I much prefer smaller knives that, you know, just basically the tip of your finger can go into. Um, but the detent is really nicely done on this knife. Snaps back down into place. Um, so thumb flick fires out of there, middle finger flick. Someone's doing some work outside, but thumb flick works really good. You know, the, the action is still good. Um, I just don't love it because of like that, you know, again, that large hole, but the D10 is really well done. Uh, the D10 has been done nicely on basically every two yet that I've handled so far. Um, so I do have to give them props there, you know, give credit where credit is due. But um, you can slow roll it, fires out of there, or yeah, fires out of there. I don't know what I set up for. Um, now for the close, there is a little bit of lock stick. You guys can hear that a little bit. Um, it's not bad. And I have made the mistake a couple different times of letting this free drop down to my thumb. And you guys can see the edge of the blade lands right on my cuticle. Um, so I've cut myself numerous times with this knife. So I try to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to try to yeah, see, you guys can see it's, it's a free dropper. Um, it, I mean, it swings shut so well, but I try to, you know, just do this and then let it drop that way. Uh, it's very smooth again on ceramic ball bearings. Um, works well. It does. It just, I, you know, other than that uh, large hole. So I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Other than that, it's, it's very good. Detent works really well. Um, and it is fun to fidget with. I just, you know, not my favorite, but definitely still very, very good. Um, next up is acoustics. Very good. Um, doesn't really give you that ting that you're looking for with titanium knives, um, but it's still above average, I would say. Nice resounding thwack when it opens. But just like I said, doesn't give you that tings, doesn't really just kind of, it's not really high pitch, it's just more of a, a thwack. Um, so I'm going to give it a four. Definitely is better than other knives, but definitely not up to par with some other titanium knives of this, especially this size and this, you know, amount of weight that it's going to be, you know, bringing shut and bringing open. Um, but next up is Ergos. Uh, and it's pretty comfortable. Again, it's, it's a bigger knife. Um, so you have plenty of handle scales to work or handle scales, handle real estate to work with. You have pretty much a straight line from here the whole way back. Tapers off here. You have a slanted edge right here. Kind of a straight line until it goes in this pretty deep finger, you know, recession. Um, and then down here to the choil. Um, choked back, I can still get all four fingers in this knife pretty easily, pretty comfortably. I'm not squished into here or anything like that. Um, again, you have this nice natural restriction point. Locks in your, you know, grip very well. You do have no jipping, which is one thing I would have liked to see. Maybe a little bit of fine jipping up here on the top. Um, but your thumb lands kind of right above the hole. At least mine does. Um, the pot clip is flush to the scale, so it's not causing a hot spot or anything like that. Um, it's nice, has a nice, uh, actually the, the the clip itself doesn't cause a hot spot, but the pointed edge right here, if you catch your finger on it the wrong way, or if you just hold it in like a certain way, it kind of does dig into your finger. Um, so I guess, you know, it, there are aspects of being able to cause a hot spot, but primarily it doesn't, um, but choked back. Then of course you can use this very large choil and choke up 
and your thumb can land almost all the way up here at the top of the blade, um, which is very comfortable for push cuts. If you're cutting through cardboard and you need more blade stability, blade control, just push through there. Um, your hand gets up even more off of that clip and that I can feel a little bit more of the edge of the clip. It's just not, it comes down to a point, which you guys can see. I would have liked to maybe seen that rounded off. Um, so it doesn't cause a little, you know, it's not sharp, but it definitely is not like the most comfortable thing in the world. Um, so I think if you added that in jipping, it would have made this knife that much better from the ergo department. Um, and it's big and big knives tend to be comfortable, tend to have plenty of real estate, plenty of room for your mitts. Um, but you know, this small few nitpicks, I'm going to give it a four. Um, still comfortable. The orange peel is nice, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really feel that much different from normal tie. If I'm being completely honest, like you can tell it's there a little bit, but it's not like overly aggressive. Um, and you can almost see, you can see, see it more than you can feel it a little bit. If that makes any sense. Um, so I could definitely go without it. Uh, it's not really doing too much to enhance your grip, which is a little bit disappointing to me. Um, so again, I'm going to land on a four. Um, carryability, it carries decently well. It is five ounces, so it's a decent size, you know, blade, de decent size knife. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how the clip carries because you do have the way it's settled and the way it's shaped. Um, you know, it looks okay from an aesthetic standpoint, but you do have about this much sticking up out of your pocket, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, you know, the Pulse OTF that I just did had a mode clip with, you know, obviously the handle scales was, you know, straight cut off that way on the pulse, but this you have the, you know, the, the blade or the, the scales receding a little bit more, um, you know, to this point up here for the lanyard tube, but I would have liked to maybe seen the lanyard tube take it out or lanyard hole taken out, put into the backspacer of some way, and then maybe move this up into this corner. Um, that would have gotten a little bit more deep carry. But like I said, as it sits right now, you have about that much sticking up out of your pocket, which I don't really enjoy. Um, so, you know, yeah, take that with a grain of salt again, but you do have no flipper tab down here, so you don't have any risk of, you know, catching it if you're pulling something up out of your pocket. But due to, you know, so much up out of your pocket, I'm gonna give it a three. Um, I really think that if, again, you take the lanyard hole, integrate it into the backspacer of some sort and move this clip up into the corner so it sits right into this corner area, I think it would have made it better. Um, you still would have had a little bit sick enough out of your pocket, but it definitely would have been better than like that. Um, so, um, but lastly, I come to price point and value um, and what I recommend this knife. I, you know what, let me say this. If you guys like the design and you like bigger knives with, you know, bigger handles, I can recommend it to you. I'm not gonna go out of my way to recommend it to anybody. Again, it was my least favorite Tuya model I've handled so far. Um, now, every Tuya model I've handled so far has been really, really nicely done. I've, I've loved basically everything I've handled from Tuya up to this point. So it's a very high bar. Um, and I'm not saying this is a bad knife because it's not. It's just not something that I truly enjoyed carrying. Um, I was excited to get it in, but definitely was a little bit let down from it. And again, that's just my personal opinion. Um, you guys might like the knife. Uh, but the price point is good on it. I will say Tuya has a great, um, you know, value proposition, I think going for them. Um, so in that aspect of it, I do have to give it a five, um, because for the materials you're getting, I don't think you can find many other knives for this price point. Um, the Voodoo comes in at $250. So getting an, an orange peel bronze tie scale knife with no clip, um, S90V with hollow grind, wicked warning looking blade. Uh, you know, pretty solid action. I just don't like the, the thumb hole. Um, you know, it definitely doesn't do it for me. But I mean, it, it's a free dropper. You guys can see right there. Very smooth. Um, so it, it's a good value, but again, just not for me personally. So if you guys like the design, absolutely go for it. I don't think the price point is all bad. I, I think 250 is a great deal for everything included. Um, and again, I think Tuya has really lived in that $250 to $300 category with a lot of their knives. And I think a lot of them are really good values. Um, so let me add this up real quick to see what I got. All right, so my final score on the Tuya Knives Voodoo is a 29, which is falling in the good category. 
I think that's very adequate. I think this is a good knife. I don't think it's a great knife. I don't think it's a bad knife. I think it's a good knife and I think it falls. I think that's a perfect score for it personally. I really do. I think, I think it's going to be, you know, fine living in that category for me. Someone else might think it's a great knife and that's fine for you guys. But um, with my thoughts and opinions on it, I'm glad it fell in that category of good. I think it's perfectly fine living there. So, um, but huge shout out to Kevin over at Left EDC for allowing me and the rest of us to check out the Voodoo, as well as plenty of other knives over the course of the year and uh, over the course of the next couple of years. Uh, I love you, Kevin. You guys always, or you always put in awesome knives in the past on group for us to check out, and I am very thankful. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up now, so leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the Tuya Voodoo? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have one? Do you want one? Let me know. But I'm going to wrap this up now, so thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.